it's spinning. There we go. The broadcast is live. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Hope it was awesome. Happy, happy Monday. Um, wanted to mention a new product, not new product, but like one product from our friends at Healthy Cell that we have not mentioned before. And that is their Focus and Recall supplement. Love uh, it. This is amazing. And I can't think of a, a time in our culture that people need this more than right now. Because <laughs> like, if you think about how no, everybody's distracted by everything and like no one has an attention span at all because we just are so we consume information in little bits and bites. This stuff, this is, this is actually, this helps your brain health. And within 30 minutes, and it's again, it's like those little packs of, of jelly goodness, just like the rest of the healthy cell supplements. Um, this one I think is peach. Yeah, that's my favorite yep, flavor. Yeah, it is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> and I take it in the I take it in the afternoon. That's the one I take in the afternoon instead of like having to pick me up coffee. I'll yes. Take that in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. This is amazing because like within 30 minutes, you're just like sharper, right? Like right, you're just right. clearer headed somehow. And this is the magic of healthy cells. So they use their micro, it's called their microgel technology. This is the stuff that helps you absorb all the nutrients in a much better way than like a standard pill or tablet or capsule would allow you to, because they're so filled with just like filler to make yeah. them a, a capsule or a pill. And so, you know, this is this is the best stuff ever. Healthy Cell is awesome because all of their supplements come in that gel pack form, which tastes delicious. Brain jelly. Yes. Somebody said yes. brain jelly. That's exactly and they actually, what it is. They, they actually get dis disseminated in your body instead of just sitting in your stomach at the bottom of your stomach and then getting yeah. expelled in your poo. I'm just saying that because it's <laughs> that's exactly what happens. That's what it's happens so with true. vitamins. It's, it's so true. true. Yeah. P Dr. Mm -hmm. Peter McCullough, also a huge fan of Healthy Cells products, and you should be too. If you go to healthycell.com slash chicks, use promo code chicks, 20% off your first order. 20%. Hello. Fantastic. Fantastic uh, stuff, you guys. Yes. We're going to get into the Oscars. <laughs> oh, my God. I had no idea it was going <laughs> to get like that before I went to bed last night, but we're going to get into that in just a second. If I could... Uh, if you would allow me just a personal point of privilege just for a short moment, if I may. Of course, of course. Because I have yeah. a shout out to three of our insiders, the yeah. Chicks on the Right insiders, uh, Becky Flincham, Cindy Garzon, and Kat Walsh. They are all members of the Hoosier Labrador Retriever Club, and they oh. invited me to a specialty that the club was having this past, well, yesterday. And, did you go? Uh, I did. Of course. Are yeah. you kidding me? I got to pet all the labs. Oh my God. It was amazing. It was amazing. And there was a How puppy fun. there named Pixie who was a chocolate, who was so precious. And so by the time I came home, my girls were like, WTF have you been? <laughs> <laughs> they were so mad because they could smell all the labs. But they <coughs> showered me with all these gifts, these coasters and this oh, darling uh, cheese my thing, wine. Sweet. I mean, everything. They were so sweet. And so I just wanted to shout out to them really quickly. That is Thank so you sweet the for being so, for so being lab sweet. lovers and for inviting me to that. It was great, great. That's fun. very sweet. I got my steers. I got my steers this weekend. They're here. I spent like seven hours outside with our new steers, <laughs> Gunner and G Wilson. You guys. So that was a big treat. I'm sunburnt. And why um, is it G Wilson? Just, um, I don't know why his name is G Wilson. I didn't name him. They just named oh, okay. him G Wilson. It's G Wilson. It's just his name. I don't know what G stands for. Um. <laughs> It could stand for gorgeous. He's just gorgeous. He's a gorgeous Angus. I don't know. It's he's an Angus. And then the other one is Brahmin. Gunner is a Brahmin. So we got our steers, our puppy dog steers yesterday. We're very excited. And um, they're getting acclimated to our property. So I hope they're okay. They're out there sleeping somewhere. I don't know. They may come up to the window because they're allowed be to come. Amazing. They're allowed to come all the way up to the house. I mean, for all I know, Gunner may be sleeping on the front porch. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, okay. We need to talk about the hullabaloo from the Oscars last night. Um, so if you haven't heard, because I didn't, I, I watched the first 25 minutes just to see the um, intro with Amy Schumer. And I've got a little bit, a bit of that that we'll get to. Thank you, Amanda. Um, but 
I woke up this morning and saw the headlines and then immediately dug in to what happened between Will Smith and Chris Rock. So Chris Rock at some point during the evening did a stand up routine, which that's what comedians do. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. make they make people. they make jokes. They make jokes. <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. That's what they do. That's part. Uh -huh. That's their actual job, if you yeah. will. Right. So Chris Rock made a joke uh, at Jada Pinkett Smith's expense. And Jada Pinkett Smith, who you may know from such things as being married to Will Smith and also being bald. Um, she has been bald since 2018. Now, I did not realize her baldness was due to alopecia, like I didn't actual either. condition that I didn't she either. has. Yeah. No. I had no idea. Um, but that is the case. And perhaps Chris Rock didn't know that either. I don't know. But he made a joke about her bald head. He he said, I'm really looking forward to G.I. Jane, too. That was it. That was the joke. OK, not that mean, really, considering. No. Uh -uh. Um, but Will it's Smith. Actually kinda, I, it's kind of funny. It's kind of it, funny. Like, you yeah. like. Yeah. It's, and most most women would be like I, I would. Most women with the sense of humor would be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Especially I'm, somebody I'm, like her who owns right. it so well. Exactly. Who's hot. Like, I right. mean, she's, she's good looking. She's always been like, I'm a strong woman. Look at me. I'm like, well, she's very much into that. Like, let's do a red tabletop. She's very much into like, look how, I mean, she, she does own it. Like you say, she owns it. So it seems very insecure. But anyways, continue. Go ahead. Well, and thank you, Shell Evington. Shell uh, just gave us a very generous super sticker and said, showing you some love on my 48th wedding anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. Oh my, that's so sweet. So Jada Pinkett Smith, um, her reaction to the joke was to roll her eyes and not look very happy, which fine. If you don't want to have a sense of humor and you want everybody to know you don't have a sense of humor, that's right. okay. That's mm -hmm. fine. Her husband's reaction, very, very different. Uh, I will show it to you in its entirety. Here, let me make sure my sound is up. Okay, here we go. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane too. can't wait to see it. All right? And he laughed. He's laughing. <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the out of me. <laughs> Did... Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. I'm going to, okay? Jada, I love you. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So awkward and weird. Now, a, a billion of our followers, I watched the comments before we came on today. So many people are like, that is staged. You guys, you are freaking high. And I, <laughs> I don't have the slow-mo of it um, because this was immediately the reaction. Oh my God, this is so staged. This is so staged. No, this was not staged. Clay Travis uh, caught the slow-mo so that you can see the hit. And you can see the head going back. And, you know, now, of course, the police are speaking out. And they're saying, we know of the incident. Uh, Chris Rock is declining to press charges. So anyway, I'll show you the super slow-mo because I think that that actually tells the story a little bit better. Um, okay, let me make sure that this isn't big in. Here it is in super slow-mo. So he's like, this is all fine. This is all fine. This is all He's fine. not going to do anything. And oh, boom. that's not Damn. fake, you guys. <laughs> okay, that is not fake. God. I mean, <laughs> what cannot, is, I'm still like cannot believe that that happened. When did the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air become so violent? <laughs> I mean, it's just so violent, you know? It's like his I days mean, back in Philly are coming back to haunt him. So he's, yeah, he's really pissy. I just don't understand it. Well, and then he went on to win. Will Smith went on to win uh, Best Actor. And at during his acceptance speech, which went on and on and on and on and on, um, there was a, a part that I'll share where he apologized to everyone there except for Chris Rock. Okay, so he made sure to apologize to everyone except the actual person that he hit. And so I have just a little bit of that moment here. Um... Is he crying? I want to apologize to the academy. Yeah. I want to apologize to my all my fellow 
nominees. Um, Very emotional. Oh my God. This is a beautiful moment and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying for winning an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light on all of the people, Tim and, and Trevor and Zach and Sanaya and Demi and Anjanu and the entire cast and crew of King Richard and Venus and Serena, the, the entire Williams family. Um, Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but love will make you do crazy things. That's his excuse. Okay. All right. Well, love will make you, you do look, crazy well, things. Well, you do look like a crazy person. <laughs> if that's what you, if that's what you're saying, I mean, you're. Yeah, you look like a crazy person up there going up and punching somebody for making a joke. You look like you are the crazy person. Yeah, You're the you crazy assaulted person. a person. And if he right. had a white man who went after Chris Rock, imagine how different the conversation would be. You think that if, everybody at the Oscars would stand up and cry along with Will Smith and applaud and give him a standing right. ovation? Oh my God. Or if, it, or if it wasn't even just a, a white man, it would, if it were anybody on the street that wasn't a celebrity. If it were just a nor, if it were you and me going yeah. up to somebody like in a somebody in a Walgreens <laughs> doing what he just did, did you just say that about my husband? I'm gonna smack you. You know what I mean? Like people make jokes and do that stuff quite frequently in real life. And it, and if I assaulted somebody over that, I mean, I would be in jail, or I would at least, at the very least, I would be getting some sort of misdemeanor or felony, whatever that is, for it. I mean, it's. It's it's just not okay. You just don't do that in a civilized society. That's not how we act. Right. So, but apparently, again, like we did a we did a podcast last week about celebrity privilege. Mm -hmm. He gets he gets celebrity privilege, and it's not okay. This is just not okay. But apparently, people think it's okay. Well, and it, the the reaction is very mixed. So we've got the people who are convincing themselves that this was staged, which I just think that's freaking nuts. I don't care if they're actors. If you watch that in slow-mo and still think it's staged, you're freaking high. But then we've also got the people like, I mean, obviously, what's what's their kid's name? Um, the one that uh, Willow, the Willow and Jaden. Willow Jayden. and Jaden. So Jaden uh, tweeted out immediately. His tweet in response to that was, that's how we do it. That was his response to his dad punching out a comedian for making a joke. And so everyone, they, like it got retweeted and, you know, responded to a whole big bunch. And people were like, that's not how you do it. You just literally prove your, your dad just proved the stereotype of angry black men who cannot control their tempers. That's not right. how we do it. And so, right. but then other people were like, that's right. That's a husband standing up for his family. This is freaking crazy because Chris Rock is a comedian. That is not how you stand up for your family. You don't right. act like a rabid lunatic just because your wife got made fun of. Right. And these oh it's God. funny because and it's interesting to me because these are the same people. These are liberals, right? These are liberals. These are the same people who will say they don't they don't agree with people defending their homes via the Second Amendment. You know what I mean? And it's like, wait, I don't, I can't, I don't get you. I don't understand your thought process. So you're okay with punching a guy on stage for saying a joke, but then you don't agree with me protecting my family. If somebody actually is coming to my home and, and trying to hurt me and my family, you're crazy. You're, you're a crazy, crazy person. That's right? exactly right. These people are nuts. Yeah. Uh, quickly want to mention to our friends at the Get Upside app. Remember, this is an app that gives you cash back free money every time you fill up, um, which you know you're going to do. Anytime you get gas, which you know you have to do, you are going to get cash back if you use the Get Upside app. My husband and son just drove to Michigan this weekend for a lacrosse tournament. My husband used it on the road. Like You can use the app and be like, where is where can I get the most cash back? Which gas station am I close to? It will find out, you know, it'll <coughs> GPS where you are and it'll be like, oh, look, two miles away, there's a gas station. You can get cash back in this amount right here. It is so 
handy. I still don't understand why people don't use it. Never going to understand it. Uh, but you guys, if you get the uh, Get Upside app now, if you download it and then you use promo code Chicks, you'll get 25 cents or more per gallon cash back. That is a hugely awesome deal. Awesome, awesome deal. Yeah, there's no downside. No downside to the Get, the get Upside app. Mm -hmm. um, what you just said reminds me that there was another moment in the Oscars where Regina Hill, one of the... Um, one of the, what is it? The co-hosts, because it was yeah, her. There were three. There were three. Yeah. Wanda Sykes and Amy Schumer and Regina Hill. Mm -hmm. They right. were, this was all part of it. And now I've lost my train of thought about what I was going to tell you about well, Regina Well, because there, cause, cause Regina Hill got up on stage and she was like, I'm going to do a COVID test with all of these people. And, um, and she no, goes, no, no. I, well, that story too. But the thing that you said that made me think of Regina Hill is that I think she was the one that made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith being being like an open in an open marriage. And oh, that's right. And apparently that's that right. was fine. I think it was her. I, it may have been one of the others. But in any case, they joked about that. <laughs> yeah. And like no one got beat up over it. Right. Like, yeah. You can say that. And so my husband said that he was looking at um, Instagram, the comments about the Will Smith knocking out or trying to knock out Chris Rock. And the, the funniest comment that he saw was that Jada should should keep other men out of her mouth. So Will Smith saying, keep her name out of your mouth. That was the response. Maybe yeah. she should try keeping, keeping other dudes out of her other mouth. Other dudes out of there. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's it's they do have an open marriage. I mean, and that's the thing. Jaden is like, that's how we do. It's like, okay, your parents are, they have an open marriage. And it's like, that's how, is that how you do too? Apparently that's how you do too. So, I mean, it's not like you're some pillar for, morality that everybody else needs to follow that's whatever you know whatever <laughs> what? these people are whack it's just like again <laughs> with the whole like again we talked about it last week on our deep dive it's like so many people look to these folks and they're like oh yeah they're so great no, they're not they are just people who pretend to be other people and so many people look up to them and they think that they know what's what. It's kind of like, I think I made the comment. I'm not going to look at George Clooney and be like, I'm going to vote for who George Clooney votes for because he's so much smarter than me because he's George Clooney. No, no, that guy's an idiot. I'm not going to, it's like, he just has a lot more money than I do. He's like, he has a lot more villas in Italy than I do. So, <laughs> you know, a lot more. Because you just have he, the one. I just have the none. <laughs> I have none. I have the none is what I have. So, okay, yeah. tell. Go ahead and tell the Regina story. Well, the Regina story. There's the Regina chick. You were telling me this morning that she got up on stage and um, and she was saying, "Hey, there's like we're going to be giving COVID tests or something on the stage," which I thought was interesting because she's a single chick, and mm -hmm. so her shtick was like, "I'm single. I'm going to need a man." Blah blah blah. So, haha, I'm going to call up all these hot dudes. And I'm going to give them COVID tests. Okay. So she had Josh Brolin. She had a, that Jason Momoa, who is a hot dude. Josh Brolin's, a, he's okay. But when, when you told me she called up Josh Brolin, I was like, well, there were, they, they weren't even part of the four that were called up. They came up later and she okay. like just totally felt them up. But the four that okay, she so called that, up were dudes. I don't even know most of them. All right. So she's feeling up all these guys. And when you, you said feeling up, she's like touching them and touching their butts and touching their bodies and all this kind of stuff. So she's touching all these guys. And the point of that is if it were reversed, if it were a man that like Ricky Gervais or whoever, Chris Rock for that matter, calling up women out of the audience and saying, hey, we're going to do a COVID test. We need some hot women from the audience. Can you imagine the outrage? I mean, again, it's like Hollywood has no idea what they actually think about anything. No, they're they don't. complete hypocrites on basically every issue, every level, every <laughs> single issue, every single one. I mean, it's and this is the thing. This is why people need to shun them completely shun them. It's like Put your middle finger up to these people at all times. They do not know. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. They are complete and total hypocrites. And so that's, and you just can't, you can't listen to them. And when they say anything, you can't take them seriously because they're all idiots. I'm lumping it's, them together. It's true. Well, and it's interesting that you talked about uh, shunning <laughs> because uh, apparently there was all this hullabaloo that, and, and we talked about this. We may have even talked about it in our deep dive about Amy Schumer suggesting that, um, 
Zelensky appear on the Oscars yes. through some sort of a live right. stream. So there was all this chitter chat about that and perhaps even attempts to get that to happen. And for whatever reason, apparently the <clears throat> Academy decided, no, that's not a good idea. Or maybe Zelensky was like, you guys, I'm kind of busy. You know what I mean? Like he's got I know. things to do right now. Maybe so. I would. I would hope that he does. I was actually thinking, if he shows up, that is going to look so terrible. Or if oh my he God, makes an appearance, I'm like, I would have been horrified by that. Yeah. Well, uh, Sean Penn very upset about the decision by the organizers to not have Zelensky appear, and so. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what. This is what he said he was going to do if Zelensky was not allowed that platform. Now, it is my understanding that a decision has been made not to do it. That is not me commenting whether or not President Zelensky had wanted to. If the Academy has elected not to do it, if presenters <laughs> have elected God. not to pursue the, the, the leadership in Ukraine who are taking bullets and bombs for us, along with the Ukrainian children that they are trying to protect, then I think every single one of those people and every bit of that decision will have been the most obscene moment in all of Hollywood history. And I hope that's not what's happening. If it turns out to be what's <laughs> what happening, a drama I would encourage everyone involved to know that though it may be their moment, and I understand that, to celebrate their films, it is so much more importantly their moment to shine and to, to protest and to boycott that Academy Awards. And I myself, if it comes back to it, I, when I return, I will smelt mine in public. I pray that's not what's happened. I pray there, has, there have not been arrogant people who consider themselves representatives of the greater good in, in, in my uh, industry uh, that have not decided to check in with leadership in Ukraine. Uh, so I'm just going to hope that, that that's not what's happened. And I hope that everybody walks out if it is. He's going to smelt his Oscars, you guys. He's, He's going to smelt them. He's going to smelt it. Every time I see him, I just think of Jeff Spicoli. He's like, hey, dude, let's party. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. He's just stoned. All of He's just completely stoned all the time. I well, can't I know get over I that. See it. Like, I would actually tune in to him smelting his Oscars. <laughs> are, I want to see that. People... These people are such self-important blowhards. I can't. Like they just think they're so they think they're so important. They think because they act. Because that's all. listen, it's it's a it's, it's a fine profession. It's fine if you want to be an actor. That's fine. I mean, I know somebody who has a son that is trying to get on Broadway. It's it's a fine profession, but it's just that. It's just a profession. It's just like any other profession. It doesn't make you special and important and better than anybody else. It's just you pretending to be other people. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I've never understood why we look up to these people, why it's just so important. It's not. You're not special, Sean Penn. In fact, you're kind of an idiot. Oh my I don't God. understand that. And so what I is don't. he thinking that people are going to, like, is he thinking that we're going to react to that by, oh my God, no, please don't smell your Oscar. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. Who yes. Like shit? No one cares. This is what, yes. This is what he thinks. He thinks that we all give a crap so much about that. We don't. We don't. It's <laughs> my God. Thank you. Christine. Christine says too bad. Ricky Gervais wasn't there. Can we smack Sean Penn? See you in God. September. XO balls. Yeah. Ricky yeah. Gervais must be sitting back like being grateful that he didn't get punched for all the things right. that he said when he emceed. He was awesome. <sighs> He, he, should, was awesome. he should be the only person that ever does it ever. They'll never, they'll never allow him back because mm -hmm. he smacked everybody in that room and they couldn't handle it. They could not deal. And they were like, never allow him back. Never. <laughs> we can't deal. Well, and just to give you an example of how the three hosts did together, I've got just a little clip of them in at the very beginning of the show. And this I saw because I watched the first 20, 25 minutes. So here's how ridiculous it was. Have a great night uh, tonight, and for you people in Florida, we're gonna have a gay night. Gay, 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 gay. Hilarious. Just hilarious. Do you see Nicole Kidman? Oh she can't move her face. 
She cannot move her face. <laughs> <laughs> they have it on like permagrin. She's just like, I'm smiling all the time. Uh, I'm the Joker. Uh, I can't. My God. <laughs> These people. That, that's that's that wasn't. That was the humor. Who's going who's gonna to tell him that don't say gay is not in that bill? Who's going to tell him? It's can, I mean, we've told them like a gajillion times. Is it? When are they going to? They just don't care. They just don't care at this point, do they? They don't. Well, they're very they're, elite, and they just they are better can, than all of us. Yeah, and so they're very they, elite, and they they're so elite that they can't read. <laughs> God bless them. <laughs> they God just have them. people tell them what to think, and then they're right. all like, "Okay, right. that's what I'll think yeah. then." Like I'm an actor. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. By the way, I read the most hilarious thing too, that some, now I don't know who, but rumor on the street is that a bunch of the women who have to wear the fancy high heels to the Oscars got fillers in their feet so that they would be able to walk more comfortably. <laughs> really? And how is yeah. that more comfortable? I don't even understand how that works. Like I'm, I'm right now I'm touching my foot because I'm like, <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> I don't even understand. Can you? I don't know. I don't know. But that is apparently maybe it just makes your feet numb or like you just don't feel actual pain on the balls of your feet because they're filled. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's three hours of your life. Even I could walk in heels for like a couple hours, right? Back in the day. I mean, right now I don't really have an interest in doing that. But I mean, you and I could do that back in the day, even 10 years ago. I can walk in heels. I can walk in heels for three or four hours pretty comfortably. I mean, after about four hours, I was like, I'm out. But three <laughs> hours, I can I can take one for the team, right? I, I can do that. Do, like walk from a limo to the right. entrance and then they sit down. Like right. What is the big deal? Just wear freaking heels. Or don't, <laughs> you know, either wear them and be a, it's like be a woman and wear your heels or don't or just wear flats. You know what I'm right. saying? This, I don't I don't understand this either. Now, I did, before we move on from Oscar stuff, I wanted to talk about that because I, I told you about this before we went live about the two different headlines from the Daily Mail. So I'm yes. going to show them to you because this was absolutely hilarious to me uh, that the Daily Mail is so afraid of getting punched <laughs> that they changed <laughs> their headline on the worst dress list. And by the way, I saw this well before the Oscars even started, I saw that they had written their article about the worst dressed list, right? They do this before the, right before the Oscars start. Right. And so the first one, the one that I saw in real time was this. So you can see who they chose for worst dressed, right? Right? You can read that. Jada Pinkett Smith, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Right. An, an enormous green gown must have been hideous. Enormous green hideous. gown. She suffered. She wins Oscar for worst dress. Right. Right. She's the worst. This morning with her, G, with her GI Jane haircut. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and I was so glad that I screenshot this because this morning it now looks like this. Interesting. Isn't that interesting, you guys? Same now it's Billie Eilish. Description. Same exact description. She failed. It was a fashion fail and an enormous black gown. But now they've changed it to Billie Eilish because they're so afraid of upsetting Jada Pinkett Smith now, or Will Smith, that they've actually changed their headline. Can you I even mean, with this? That's how ridiculous I'm, everything is. I'm, yeah, I'm glad that you screen that you screenshotted it too. Yeah, that's that's really funny. Had they God, these people. I mean, and I can't believe the Daily Mail did that. Daily Mail, right? of all people. Like, what are they afraid that, like, Will Smith's going to come to the Daily Mail headquarters and punch them all on the face? I think the they hell, are. Daily Mail? God, get a grip. I think that standard has been set, that you're not allowed to upset Will Smith. You just can't. Oh, God. You're just Listen, not allowed to do that. Then, you know, file charges if he does that, which I don't know if he has like a, a fist enormous enough to punch everybody at the Daily Mail, but <laughs> I mean, good on him. But if he can do that, maybe somebody should file charges, Chris Rock. File I know, charges. I kind of wish he would. I kind of wish he yeah. would. Yeah. It's because comedians salt. need to take a stand. Comedians need to be like, no, you're not ruining our profession. This is our job. Yeah. If you can't take it, you that's on you. But you're a I'm, wuss. My yeah. job is to make fun of you. Deal. Exactly. You're a complete wuss. Then don't come to these things. You know, yeah. deal with it. It's exactly. called comedy. Look it up. Good lord. Uh, we should mention that your favorite drummer passed away from a drug overdose yeah. this weekend yeah. from what's his name? Taylor Hawkins from the Foos. 
Yeah, that was kind of a stunner when that happened. I woke up, it was a Saturday morning. Yeah, and I found out that Taylor Hawkins died. He's 50, he's my age, you guys. He was my age, two teenage kids. What a waste. I, so complete mad. waste. Yeah, I was I'm really so mad. mad. I was to, I was like, at first I thought, is this natural causes? I thought, did he, you know, cause I knew that he had, um, you know, drug issues back in the early 2000s. And then I thought, surely this isn't. And then it was drugs, right? And so I'm, I'm just like, why, why do these guys do this? I, I just, listen, I've never had a, an issue with substance, like substances of any kind. I just have never grappled with that because I've just stayed away from that stuff my whole life. And I've taught our kids to do that. Because I mean, so many people, I'll be like in the car and I'll be listening to music and I'm like, you know, oh, I love this musician. And my, my daughter's like, is this person like, do you still listen to this person? Is this person still alive? I'm like, no, how'd this person die? Drugs. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like every single musician that I've ever loved, like, <laughs> it's like, how this person died? Drugs. Are they still alive? No. What happened? Drugs. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like, and so my daughter has grown up hearing about all these people that I've absolutely loved musically that they died because they're freaking idiots and they take drugs. And so I just get so, it makes me sad, but it makes me mad because oh, I'm, I'm super just like, mad. What? well, especially when I read that he had already had, he was in a coma from years ago. Right from yeah. a drug overdose. And at that yeah. time, you would think that that would be a wake up call, but his reaction to it was, oh, I just like miscalculated like how much I can take and I'll I'll do better right. at like calculating my drug You've use. got kids. No, you're gonna die. You, yeah, you've got a family, you've got kids. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. and then I also read where Dave Grohl is, um, you know, he's the lead singer of the foods if you guys don't know, but he's, but Dave Grohl, back when Kurt Cobain passed away, um he's i think he went through a period of time he was like i'm gonna quit music because i because he you know obviously they were very close and so he went through a weird period of time where he was like i may just get out of this entirely he and taylor were like you know like you and me you know mm -hmm. so it's like i can only imagine like what he's probably like what the heck am i gonna you know what am i gonna do so i don't know it's like yeah. i just i don't why do people do this drugs are bad don't do drugs well you know? and it's now like, it's what? even scarier because when you think about the amount of fentanyl that's coming over the border and right. because Joe Biden won't do jack squat about it, um, it's going to be right. way worse than ever before. And now it's like, even if you're someone, and Taylor Hawkins was clearly one of these people who thought, oh, I know how to level out. I know how to manage it. You don't know all the time That's, what is being right. given to you. And so if <laughs> anything is laced with a mountain of fennel that you don't know about, you're going to die. And that's right. what it just makes me crazy that like you, there's no safe way to be a drug addict. There's just yeah. not. So I just, I'm yeah. so angry because it's such a waste of talent. It is. Such he a was a, waste. right. It is a waste. He was, he was, a <laughs> he was an enormous talent and it, you know, and, and I just, and I, and moreover, he was a, a dad and a husband right. and I just, and now his kids have no father. So what a sh and for shame, what? you know, for right. What? For just... a, like, yeah. A high for a couple minutes. Idiot. <sighs> yeah. It's just infuriating. Um, all right. You guys, let's uh, end on a positive note. If we could, it is time for some My Pillow talks. Don't forget to get your towels, your sets of towels from mypillow.com/chicks. It they're only thirty nine ninety nine for an entire set of six towels. Get in on that while the getting is good. Use promo code chicks. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're going to have animals because we need them today, right? We need animals we need, today. We need but the animals. First, there's an inexplicable. I don't know why this woman does this, but you remember when Kim Kardashian pissed everyone off by by saying, I have the way for women to succeed it's by getting your ass to work. Remember? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know why, but this woman decided to choreograph that little speech. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like no... <laughs> You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. I have the best advice for women. In You're fucking Why? ass up and work. Why is this a thing? It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have oh to surround God. yourself with people that want to work. I have the best <laughs> advice for women in I don't know why she did it, but I'm so glad she did. You have to send that to me when we're done. I have to send that to my <laughs> I, to my daughter-in-law, I have to send it to her. Oh my God. That's the greatest thing I've seen all day. 
Okay. It makes no sense. I don't know why. It doesn't. It's and I love it. I love it. <laughs> that thing at the top right, I don't know what that is, but it's haunting me. What is that, that thing on the top well, right? Well, because it's a hairless cat. It's haunting me. <laughs> <laughs> what is it doing? What? Oh, God. What is happening? It's so gross, isn't it? They're just disgusting <laughs> to me. I'm sorry, hairless cat lovers, but they are vile. I think it's, I think it's, is it a girl? It's sort of cute. I, I don't think know. Thank little... God we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's kind of cute, Ma. Is it? Is yeah. it? Yeah. I just, it was haunting me. I had to see what was going on there. Okay. Well, I hope you're right. happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm, to I'm just, I'm blissfully happy now. Believe me. Here is what's really cute. Like a million people have sent this to me. Look at all the otters. <laughs> they're squealy little happy faces. Oh, they're like, right? they're so happy because they're, they're eating. So oh, they're like, oh, we got fish now. Look at us. They're so, <laughs> they're so they're many. So happy. They're so Where many. Are, they? are they living in a house? What are they doing? They're living in like a house like yours. They're just like, oh, we're living with Mog. Look at us. And this is why I, I feel like I could do this. I could do this. I could do that. I could have them. <laughs> yeah, I just have a bunch of little tiny fish on hand just to feed them every day. It's no big deal. No big They're deal, you guys. So it's so cute. Um, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the guy that does the vo voiceovers uh, on animals. You know how we've played him before. We've played him a million times. And here's yes, a new yes. Really quick one. Ooh, the baby smells so sweet. Ooh, uh -uh, that ain't sweet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, the baby smells so sweet. Ooh, uh -uh, that ain't sweet. <laughs> I love oh, that. Okay. And then look at this oh, otter. Yeah. Look at how sweet. Pick me up, please. I want holds. Why does this person? Okay, I was gonna say, pick him up. Oh, oh my god. I need one. I need one. Yeah, you may need one for a couple minutes. Yeah, you may. <laughs> for a couple minutes. <laughs> what is that? What is, what is that one in the middle, top middle? Like, is that a dog on a bike? What is that? This? Yeah. This one? No, that's yeah. a guide dog. Um, And it's just, it, I, I saved it because it was an interesting, well, do you want to see it? It's about how a guide yeah. dog manages obstacles. Okay. Process. Something in the way here, mom. We can't fit through. Hey, before we... No, you'll okay. fall. When Ava stops like this, I check with my hands and my feet to try and understand the obstacle. Ava, can you find a way? Ava, forwards, find a way. That's we remarkable. have to go round. Is this the best way? He's like totally Ava, processing how to okay. get her through this. Okay, now we've turned, Cause we Because they're freaking fit. smart, that's why. Ava's hesitation told me she might want to reposition. Yeah. And she did. Isn't that amazing? I just think that's it so is amazing. amazing. Yeah, you'll never see a cat do that. A cat would lead you into traffic. <laughs> I'm just saying. Cat would be like, come on, here's a Mack truck. It's just like, that's what they would do. I'm just saying. I mean, I know, don't come like, at me. Let me see what this would do. I'm going to just see. <laughs> just see. Don't, don't come at me, cat people. I'm just saying. <laughs> She said she liked your hairless cat. So just... <laughs> that's right. It was a cute cat. It was a cute cat, but they just lay there. They don't want to help you. They just they just want to lay there with their feet up in the air. You know? Right. That's what they want to do. That hairless cat covered up its bits, you know? For <laughs> that we can all be grateful. <laughs> At least for that minute during that video. That's right. Anyway, that's right. those were your talks for today. Those, those we are didn't talk like any real news. We'll have so well, much. Well, we should probably tomorrow. well we should probably mention that Biden did say over the weekend that he wanted Putin out of power and that he backtracked. You know, no big deal. Our president is completely mm -hmm. inept and senile. It's not it's not a big deal. It's fine. It's it was better to talk oh, about the fine. Oscars today because our country's going in the shitter. It's fine, you guys. <laughs> it's everything's okay. It's okay. There are <laughs> fires everywhere. It's fine. fine. It's all Nothing. fine. Nothing to see here, everybody. It's good. <laughs> Let's all bring it in. Let Let's let us bring it in. in, and we will discuss and unpack and untangle that more tomorrow. Also, we have to tell everybody about that email that we got too. Remember, remember <sighs> the email that we got. The one what? about the chocolate dicks. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> we'll do we that got an email. Too.
We got an email to talk to you guys about tomorrow. Yeah, I kind of blocked that out, but now I remember. Thank you for making yeah. me remember that. Yes, <laughs> um, we will. <laughs> we will talk to you guys about that tomorrow. Yes. And then more political stuff, because I just didn't want to deal with a lot of that today, because I feel like everything's falling apart. But it's going to be fine. <laughs> everything's everything's going to be, be fine. fine. It's going to be good. Gonna be you guys fine. have a great Monday. We'll talk to you tomorrow.